In a statement on Saturday, Iranian spokesperson Kanani condemned Israel's massacre of hundreds of Palestinian people, particularly women and children, at the Al Nusrat camp. He attributed this atrocity to the inaction of international bodies in response to the regime's ongoing atrocities in Gaza over the past 8 months. Kanani highlighted the failure of global organizations, especially the United Nations Security Council, to take any meaningful action to counter the Israeli regime's war crimes and violation of international humanitarian regulations in the Gaza Strip. He lashed out at the US and European states for supplying Israel with bombs and missiles and for supporting the regime's crimes. The result of the support he noted is evident in the slaughtered bodies of Palestinian citizens and children lying in blood at Nusirat. Kanani stressed that innocent Palestinian people, especially the oppressed children of Gaza, are suffering from barbaric bombings and are enduring hunger, thirst and a severe lack of medicine and medical equipment due to the blockade on the strip. In this deplorable situation, Kanani said, Muslim countries have a heavy responsibility. They must stand united to counter Israel's acts of aggression and fulfill their human, moral and Islamic responsibilities. On Saturday, Israeli forces killed at least 210 Palestinians and injured over 400 during air strikes at the Nusirat refugee camp and surrounding areas in Gaza to retrieve hostages from Hamas. Since the war began on October 7, 2023, following a retaliatory operations by Gaza's resistance movements, at least 36,801 Palestinians, mostly children and women, have been killed and 83,680 people wounded. On the Israel side, many have been taken in hostages, many have been released, and many are still in hostages under Hamas. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.